here with head women's soccer coach Tyler Channel. Tyler, 2024 season is upon us. First day of practice. What do you see from your girls out there? Um, some good things, some bad things. I think that's that's pretty uh, normal for preseason, but we've got 10 new players in for preseason this year, and I think they've hit the ground running already, which is good to see. Um, and we've got a good balance of returning players, new players, um, a, a fairly large squad compared to what we're, what we're used to. Um, but yeah, some good things that I'm, I'm excited for for tomorrow's game against Delta. And talking about the game against Delta tomorrow, I was going to mention that a first day of practice today and a, and a game tomorrow. So what's the mindset with getting them going on the field pretty early? Yeah, we, we've been doing that for the last few years now, playing Delta our second day. They've been training together, playing games ready for a few weeks, and, and Delta's a great program. So it's always a really good test for us. We get to see a lot of players play some out of position. Um, and everyone gets a decent amount of minutes, which is good to see. But then we get to kind of break it down and say, OK, where do we think we're at? Good things, bad things. Um, and yeah, Delta is always a good test for us. So we're looking forward to it. And talking about how you have a large squad, what are some of those incoming players that you've been interested in seeing as they get into practice? Yeah, we've we've got a, a big a big group of, of new players. Um, Grace Miller is, is one of the standouts because she's a transfer. She already has um, Division One experience, which she started a ton of games. Um, we're hoping that she comes in and help us in the middle of the field. And then we've got a plethora of, of young freshmen who are already looking like they've been here for a couple of years, which is great to see. Um, Emma Bradley, McKenna Kennedy, I could, I could go on and on. Um, but yeah, we're, we're excited for them to see. We're not thinking they're just going to sit the bench and, and do nothing for the whole year. We think they're going to come in and, and make a, an impact pretty quickly. And what was the kind of off-season transition from last year? You guys had a six-game shutout streak and then tailed off at the end and lost two in a row to Ferris and lost in the first round of the playoffs. Now trying to get set and ready for the season. Yeah, we play in a, a really difficult conference, which shows, um, you know, six six shutouts in a row and then and then dropping some games that we didn't want to. Um, the girls are prepared because every single game, it doesn't matter if you're playing the top of the table, the bottom of the table. You have to make sure you turn up ready to go. Um, and yeah, we're ready for a dogfight. That's what every single game is. There's no games that you turn up and you win six or seven zero. Um, hopefully, the the deep team that we have and we stay healthy because healthy um, was not really our strong suit last year. We had some surgeries, some injuries that really uh, put us back, unfortunately, um, especially as the season wore on. But hopefully, our deep squad helps us this year for sure. And when you, when you guys had that stretch of six games of shutouts, goaltending and defense seemed to be it. And you were talking about injuries last year, both goalies getting hurt in the middle of the season. So now you got a fresh start with, with those two goalies in uh, Garbars and Pew. What's it looking like back there? Yeah, it's great. We got a third goalie in this year, which is great. Um, Delaney, a freshman, and, and she's already hit the ground running, and she looks good. Um, last year with two, and they were injured back and forth. We had Gabby Green playing in a game. Um, hopefully they stay healthy because they're two of the top goalies in the conference, which is a, a luxury to have. Um, and then obviously Delaney will come in and they'll push them and we're bringing back some very solid pieces in the back line as well. Um, so hopefully in that front we can, you know, six shutouts in a row is great, but hopefully we can uh, extend that this year. And bringing back a lot, a, a really upperclassman loaded team as well. You, like you've got pieces in every asset of the game that you're bringing back. Who, who are some that you're excited for this year? Yeah, we, um, like I said, we've got some some senior players, some young players, but some players that are coming back that we're hoping to have already got some all region honors and all that is Stephanie Strong up front. Um, everyone in the conference knows who she is. Solana Kelly in the back um, has really been a rock for the last four years. Um, this will be obviously her fourth year. And um, and then Maddie Bajis, who has come in and kind of set the conference um, and put herself on the map the last year or so. Um, and she plays in the middle of the field for us and she can play multiple positions. So those three are kind of in the spine of our team. and. Um, Hopefully they uh, can not just get all region, but hopefully push for all American honors this year as well. Awesome. Thanks for your time, Tyler, and good luck this season. Appreciate it. Thank you so much.